Hi, I'm Todd Scheffler with Badger Utility. And today we're going to talk about a repair method that we use that is not very common in the industry. And uh, we'll try and uh, explain the method as well as talk about the features and benefits. So this trailer, uh, when it was about 16 months old, was turned over on its side and all of the side panels had to be replaced or as well as the bottom rail. So when we brought it into our shop, what we did is we pulled the chem light liner down and we installed all new side panels full length. And then the process by which we foamed this trailer is we shimmed out the posts uh, and then we, we laid the liner on top of it and then we shored the interior of the trailer up. And at that point, uh, then we uh, injected foam in each of these holes and so it expanded to fill that pocket where we had shimmed the posts. So the reason why we use this repair method is this. The exterior wall, as I push on it, there's very little flex in the wall. It barely moves. I mean there is just a little bit of movement but the liner is largely in place just like this part of the trailer that was built new without any repairs. And I'll demonstrate that right here. So this wall, which is the curbside wall, you can see this trailer, uh, this liner was intact since day one. There's been no damage to the uh, exterior and it's as per the day it was built. And so you can see, as I push on this wall, it actually might have just a little bit more flexibility than the opposite wall, which we reformed in our shop um, about three years and six months ago. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare the uh, foam injected or pour method that we use with uh, another method that is most common in the industry and we use it also. In fact we use it on this trailer because the customer requested it. Um, and so how I know that this trailer's had panels replaced which means the interior liner has been uh, removed and, and refastened is that these are original rivets right here that, that come directly from the factory. Here you can see the rail has been replaced from from this point in the middle of the trailer back and then these rivets here are all um, non-OEM rivets. They're, they're rivets that are acceptable in repair but they're different than the the factory uh, OEM rivet. So we'll go inside and we'll show you uh, the interior liner of this trailer and um, how it compares to the pour foam or the injected foam process that we described earlier. Uh, now we're on the inside of this trailer that had three panels replaced as well as the bottom rail. And um, Badger did this repair and so typically in a repair like that we'll start at the rear of the trailer, we'll pull the liner back and you can see here, you can see sort of the waviness of this liner, probably up to about here. That's how far this liner has been pulled back uh, in order to, to replace those side panels that were damaged uh, as well as the bottom rail. The primary difference in the repairs, which we described before, so we pull the liner back, replace the panels, and the posts if needed. Then we spray foamed and then we scarfed it to bring it down to a certain thickness and then an adhesive or glue was put on the other side of this liner so you could bring it back up and glue it to the foam. And then it gets shored up and they let the glue set up and then the trailer is ready for the customer. So uh, if you remember previously when we pushed on the wall the wall was really very stiff and you, you could, it was very solid. It was like when it was built new. 
And so here, you know, I, I push on this, and you can see that this wall gives more than the previous wall that, that had the pour foam repair. And I'm going to put even more pressure on it now, and you'll see how much this wall flexes versus the wall on the other trailer. Again, I'll do that. So you can see how much more flexible this is, which the fact that it's flexible is an indication that this repair isn't as strong as the other repair that we did. It is done to industry standards, and in fact, this repair is, is really good in that the liner is still, it's largely attached. Okay, so in summary is, is that you have choices when you are repairing refrigerated trailers. And so the pour foam and or injection foam process is more expensive, but the benefits of the stiffer wall, the better thermal efficiency, and the longer life of the repair outweigh the benefits of or the savings that you would have if you're just doing a, a spray foam, scarf, and glue. And typically these repairs are done at trailer dealerships across the country uh, and not in your own shops. The pour foam or injection foam process is done at all of our locations and it's available at probably four or five other trailer repair facilities across the U.S.